Today, we're going to cover off a key topic in integration, and especially when you're looking at Enterprise Service Bus, ESB, and that key concept is a canonical data model. Now, what does a canonical data model mean and how is it used? I mean, the essential thing is that each system that you integrate with, because integration is the movement of data between two or more systems, so each system you integrate with typically has its own data format. It might be an industry standard one, or it might be an application proprietary one. And what you want to do is make sure that those native data formats only live in the bit of your system that's related to that application. What you don't want is to build your entire integration platform around the native data format from an external system. So a canonical is a generic format that you own that contains all the data that you need to service your business process or for that using that piece of data. And an example of this might be that if I've got an enterprise service bus, when work goes into it, you often call that an on-ramp, and when work goes out of it, you call it an off-ramp, and in the middle, you have some kind of message bus. Now, if I've got a system, which here is called system A, that might send a message into my enterprise service bus when something happens. So let's say that's a purchase order. It's got a header and it's got lines. Every purchase order's got a header and it's got lines but the format of them is different. And so if that's sending it in, that's going to be a native format. And what I, don't, what, I, what I want to do is I want to protect the internals of here from that native format. So when I've got an on-ramp, the things that we're typically doing, we can delve into this in far more detail another time, but you're dealing with security, you're dealing with the communication protocol, which could be HTTP or SOAP or REST or FTP or whatever it is, Security, communication protocol, and the message format. And what we do on this on-ramp, we translate our native message into a canonical. We use a kind of a map, a transform, to transform from one data format to canonical. And by the time that gets here and I put the canonical message on my message bus, we are insulated from all the other systems. So if I want to send that information to another system, the off-ramp is almost the reverse of that. So I can go to the, for the external format. I've got to worry about the transport protocol and worry about the security. And so I can then go from canonical to my external message. And that's the format for system B. But the advantage here is that I can then take that message, map that to system C really easily. So if I need to send that data to more than one place, I can just map my canonical to other systems. Now, if I was to go straight from A to B, I'd just need to map from A to B. And I've done this extra work to map to canonical. Does that mean it's a waste of time? No, because there's various other things. What happens if I want to swap out system A and maybe get a new piece of software, and let's call it A star, and send that in. And suddenly, if I want to change something, all I've got to do is map my new system's data format into my canonical. All of that doesn't change. That's all protected. This is why you don't do point to point. This is why you put these patterns in, because you're protecting yourself against change and making change very contained. You're making things much more future-proofed and much more flexible. And that's what the whole enterprise service bus pattern gives you. So a canonical message, a canonical data format is a format you own so you're not held to ransom by an external message format. And that is a good thing.